So we do this this time every year. Yes. Veronica Howard Sizer is here talking about the Elvin Howard Senior Pancreatic Cancer Advocacy Foundation. Mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it. Been a good show. Yeah. See you next week. Mouthful. All right, so let's talk about this weekend. You got the 5K run yes. happening. There's a beautiful graphic for it. Uh, if you're watching on Saturday, you might have missed it, but you can still support the organization. But yeah, let's talk about the 5K first. We are so excited to be presenting this again in conjunction with the city of Baker. Uh, uh, Mayor Waits there is very excited about bringing this back to his city. Uh, and we plan to have a lot of fun, entertainment, free food, chief, uh, big chief as he's called is going to be chief there. Dunn, yeah. Yes, he's going to be there. He's going to be cooking. And we're just going to have a lot of fun learning about being healthy. And it's about taking care of your body, making sure that you are an advocate for your body. So let's talk a little bit about um, the foundation mm -hmm. and what it does. Obviously named after your father, mm -hmm. Elvin Howard Sr., who was a longtime uh, member of the team here at WBRZ. Yes. And uh, by the way, shout out to Ed Ball. What's yeah. up, Ed? I'd seen Ed in a while. Yeah. Um, let's talk about why you started the foundation. We started the foundation because my father was misdiagnosed with pancreatic cancer. That's just simply it. And my mom, being a nurse, knew that um, when you are normally diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, it is really too late. Uh, pancreatic cancer has one of the lowest five-year survival rates of any of the cancers out there. Uh, the prognosis is dire a, a many t for many people who are uh, who have pancreatic cancer or who are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. So we understand that early detection is the key. Mm -hmm. It's the key to survival. It's the key to getting that Whipple surgery. So you, if you're able to get in early, if you're able to understand what those early signs and symptoms are, your um, your success rate increases dramatically mm -hmm. with that early detection. And then the foundation since its inception has been able to accomplish a number of things. Talk about some of those. We, well, we one of the things that we have been, accomplished, been able to accomplish, and a lot of that is, um, is uh, thanks to WBRZ, is we've been able to get the word out. We've mm -hmm. been able to, uh, to be on TV and uh, radio with our partners at Cumulus uh, to, to just get the word out about those early signs and symptoms that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. And so um, we, we've been able to help you know, so many people. Mm -hmm. We've gotten a lot of testimonials back where people say thank you so much. Even from the caregiver standpoint, with my mom being a caregiver, mm -hmm. uh, understanding that the caregiver have a very, imp a very important part in the healing of their, of their loved ones. So, it's just um, being there, making sure we get the word out for, on the awareness side, and then also being there for the pancreatic cancer patients and their families. Well, let's talk about the next event that's mm -hmm. going to be taking place. Mm -hmm. um, and last year it was at Helix yes. uh, Academy, which it was, was beautiful. It was, it was beautiful in there. The way it was set up, there was actually a plane mm -hmm. on the inside of there, so that was pretty cool. And this is on Friday, November 10th. Let's right. talk about that. That's actually the gala. Right. It is our, uh, we call it a fundraiser because mm -hmm. we want to keep, people in the mindset of that this is about raising funds and uh, Clay thank you very much for hosting that for us last year it was yep. a great time yep. we had a great time uh, so this year is going to be at Drusilla Place Catering mm -hmm. um, you know uh, Helix is a school and they need to get back to teaching <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> it's that's a beautiful right. hangar but their their primary goal is teaching students so we had to we, we got kind of uh, kicked out of that evicted out of that so we're going to be at Dr Drusilla Place Catering on Friday November 10th at 7 Seven o'clock. We're gonna. We plan to have a great time this got year. George Bell. Got yes, George, George Bell and what? friends. Oh, we're goodness. excited to have him and uh, to provide our, our entertainment. And Latangela Faye will yeah. be our guest, yeah. uh, our host uh, for the evening. So we're we're excited, and we're gonna have a lot of great. Uh, uh, items up for silent auction. We plan, uh, you know, Drusilla's is delicious, right? We're oh, going to yeah. have some good food. Yeah. So we, we hope that uh, people will come out and join us, learn. We, we have some exciting news coming out of uh, Baton Rouge General Pennington Cancer Center. Mm -hmm. So please come out and, uh, and, and join us on that night. So again, the 5K is this weekend. Yes. The fundraiser is going to be on the 10th at Drusilla's. George Bell is going to be there so you can eat well, hear great music, and support yes. a fantastic cause. The website is Elvin Howard Senior PCAF, P C A F. Dot org. If you want to make a donation to the organization, buy a ticket, show up, listen to some great music. Via, appreciate you being on. Thank you so much, and thanks for having me. One more great event is happening, a series of events, and I can't wait to tell you about that. And I'm going to do it next. <laughs>